Hey, Purpose Peeps, how you doing? This is Dina, your Purpose Resultant, who lives and creates and serves from the intersection of spark, purpose, results, and strategy. So how are you doing this afternoon? Wow, it's really beautiful, a little overcast, had a little bit of drizzling where I am today. But guess what? It's probably going to be the first day that we're going to hit 80 degrees, 80 degrees, okay? First week of April. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, outside. So I hope that you're enjoying your day. So last week did not disappoint. So it was full of um, a lot of activity, um, ahas, insight, movement in the Purpose Peak community. Can you feel that? Like, oh my goodness, crazy pants. So um, last week in our podcast, um, The Sparked Life, we had homework, and our homework was to do some Marie Kondoing in our lives, so to clear space um, so that we could like create a space um, in which to meet our sparks and nudges that encourage us and support us during our sparked life. And so, wow, so you guys like rocked that all the way out. You came up with some stuff that like was like, oh my God never thought about doing that. Some of you talked about how you are focusing on um, spark words, how you are um, specifically focusing on your spark language and um, just on the words that really kind of um, speak to um, what you're cultivating and creating. And I'm just like, wow, what a way to rock your genius. It kind of reminded me of an activity from one of my mentors, um, which was to um, develop um, branding words that really kind of speak to um, who I am and um, what I'm creating and just what I'm about so so that I would create consistency in my branding and also just consistency in what I'm bringing in. And that's just so um, rock star genius because what a way to align with our becoming, right? And so as we are becoming um, the things that we are aspiring to really be intentional about incorporating that in our lives. So just like Whew, that was just some rock star genius. So um, last week's big question of the week that had to do with um, when you're at a crossroads, um, what informs your decision? So some juicy things came out of our um, Good Morning Sunshine um, post that come out of the um, meditation period, um, part of the meditate my meditation practice in the morning to really focus on that and just focus on what message is going to come forth for me and for us, all members of the Purpose Peep community, right? So the Purpose Peep community that's kind of convened um, um, under the umbrella of purpose and really um, living out what sparks us, what makes us come alive and what we're here and intended to do, but um, that just kind of connects us with that which is greater than us that's really kind of guiding and informing. So a couple of things um, about that crossroads that just kind of wow, really opened up some space for me to have an experience with it. Um, so the first one was about the revelation that our choices are more vast than they appear. So a lot of times, um, a lot of the artwork that kind of came up when I was building some of the imagery this week was like, you know, the crossroads roads of like two different roads, like an either or. And what I, what really came into my consciousness was more about, yeah, either or and then some. So either or, up, down, over, through. I mean, we have so many more choices available to us and just not to um, limit our thinking in terms of, you know, what's really before us. Yes, it is a choice, but we have uh, bountiful options and ways to respond to the event of recognizing a choice. So um, then the other thing was that we have tools in our toolkit that inform our decisions. So like we're living this sparked life, we're getting sparked all the time, and we're getting nudged, the purpose partner of the spark. Um, and that's really kind of um, informing what we do from that point forward. So if you think about those sparks, and nudges and our experiences around them and then those big lessons that we learn um, as being members of our toolkit when we come at um, 
different um, decision points in our lives, we really have some juicy, fresh manna stuff that we can um, use and leverage to kind of inform our decisions because those sparks and nudges, they're like helping us move into our becoming. So they're kind of like ahead of us. They're beckoning us from like um, the future our future selves or our our potential or our versions of actualities and there are um, giving us some clues and some breadcrumbs along the way so we really have more so if you feel like and I know I felt like this sometimes purpose peeps that I keep coming to the same decision point like over and over and over again well, guess what? I'm really not because the person that I am that's coming to this decision point is not the same person as yesterday, the day before, a year before, or so forth. So you have stuff in the toolkit. So breathe and take a five and just kind of do a mental inventory um, of just like what are your new tools in your toolkit and how are they interacting with the ones that are already in there, right? And, and juicing them up and making them even more impactful and effectful for this season. So another thing, um, decide and own the experience. Oof. Uh. So at some point we decide and we move forward or we decide and we stay where we are. We just, we, you know, not doing anything is a decision. Um, but the thing is own the experience. And so um, I saw a post this morning from Elizabeth Gilbert, Eat, Pray, Love, Elizabeth, our cousin Liz. And so, and she was talking about um, a new book that she's writing, like from the 90 year old version of a woman and who was reflecting at um, over her life. And she's thinking about like some of the crazy pants mistakes that um, she made as a young person and just like really relishing them because they really informed her future and they informed her service and they informed so much of her life. And had she not decided and, you know, some of those decisions um, you could view as missteps in the moment, but they really offered some richness to her life and her richness into the things that she would go on to do. So, um, you know, whatever we decide when we're at those crossroads, own it. Like once you've made this decision and you step forth and you take a path and um, you start to create your path rather from that decision point, um, point forward, own it and be with it and, you know, learn from it, you know, in the moment, be with it and um, learn everything that it has to um, bring to you. And I'm, I'm talking to myself. I'm saying you, but I'm talking to myself and kind of reminding myself of that. And it just reminds me of another element of the sparked life and our sparks, which is that sometimes our sparks come and our response is just acknowledge them. And because they're gifts and some gifts have a TBD or to be determined. And they're just not ready to like reveal um, the fullness of, of, you know, what they have, what they bring to offer. But we can just acknowledge them, accept the gift, okay, and just acknowledge it and set it down until it's time to, its timing is revealed to kind of open it so that we can really appreciate what's in the box and appreciate. Um, and um, it's an opportune time to leverage whatever's in the box. So everything is not for a right now. But everything that we are gifted with is for us. Ooh, that's juicy. Did you feel that? Oh, my goodness. So Izzy came, our girl, also known as imposter syndrome, and she spilled some tea and dropped some knowledge that was about herself. But it was so relatable because it was more about how about her purpose and um, just how she's purposed um, for us and what she really brings to us if we take another look. So that was kind of juicy. Um, the freemiums that I was telling you about um, that I was guided to provide during my year of Jubilee, they are up. Look at bit.ly forward slash Dina's um, with a capital D, D-E-N-A-S, capital F, freemium. Freemiums, I'm sorry. And then the last thing I want to mention is that, oh, I had a juicy chance 
um, uh, meeting and encounter yesterday that really sparked me. Like I met a sparked purpose peep that is so sparked. Like he's up there in the stars in the stratosphere somewhere. I don't know, but he came and he just, um, dropped some stuff just in his being that I can't wait to share with you. And that's going to be included in the next podcast of the sparked life called what are you graced for? And oh, it's going to be juicy. So have a great week. And I look forward to catching up with you soon. Bye, Purpose Peeps.